Neil Williams here, president of Turnkey Parlor. We buy and sell ice cream machines. This is a great little countertop Taylor C152. Happens to be a 2019 machine. Um, what we just did was we put some sanitizer with water in here and we poured it into the hopper on top, which is a tank on top, okay? It just went through into the cylinder, the freezing cylinder, which is down here. This is a refrigerated hopper, and this is a freezing cylinder. And so we hit the clean button, and now it's just gonna start beating, and you'll see this bubbles, the sanitizer bubbles up here. You would take a brush and try and hit, you know, there should be more sanitizer in here, but we're, we're not really fully sanitizing it, so we're doing, you could hit it with a brush and sanitize the walls of the, the hopper, and then the sanitizer goes in here, and then basically you leave it running for a few minutes and then you clear it, right? And that's the sanitizing process once the machine is rebuilt. It was broken down and we sanitized all the parts once and then you want to sanitize again just to flush through the freezing cylinder and the hub, okay? But that's pretty much it for sanitizing. Now we'll pour the actual mix in We'll make the product, and then we'll pull a little product out just to get rid of that first taste of sanitizer. That If you don't get rid of that little first shot of sanitizer and you give it to a customer, they're going to taste sanitizer. Okay? So we just finished sanitizing this machine. It's a Taylor 152 little countertop, single flavor. I just poured um, filtered water, a couple quarts worth of filtered water in here. Um, we, we just poured, I'll pour a little more, but we poured about a third of the bag. We're not making a lot right now. It, this is just going to be for instruction purposes. So basically, you use filtered water. You pour in the adequate amount. Okay. And then we're going to take it over to the machine and show the hopper here. This is a feed tube that regulates the amount of air against the amount of mix that goes into the freezing cylinder. This is the refrigeration uh, hopper, okay? And this is where it stays refrigerated overnight if you need it to, or for a few days. Um, it's gonna feed through that little hole in the, in the bottom of this. It's gonna feed a certain amount of liquid and a certain amount of air. So. Most people would say, oh, okay, go ahead, hit freeze, right? But the critical part is you have to wait for the mix to feed through that little uh, air tube into this freezing cylinder, which is small, okay? And you wait about five more minutes to seven minutes. The cylinder is going to be about half full, regulated by that little feed tube. But if you hit it too early, you'll overfreeze the cylinder and the machine will shut down and you'll think that it's broken. Okay, so it's critical always to, when you first start operating the machine, you pour the product in there, you pour the mix. It'd be, I, you know, you think you come and you hit freeze, but you don't want to hit freeze too early because you're going to freeze the cylinder because there's not going to be enough product in there. The, the mix has to feed through that tiny little feed hole. If you do freeze the cylinder, the machine might shut itself down to protect the motor. Okay, and then you can bring it over here and show you, you're gonna have to hit that reset button there. Okay, you come around to the reset button and you reset the button. After about 10 minutes, it'll let you restart the machine if you froze the cylinder. It just means you're out of business for about 45 minutes if you freeze the cylinder. Okay, and when we come back, we're gonna hit freeze. And we waited five, 10 minutes for it to feed through the little air tube into here and now we hit freeze okay now we have to wait roughly eight minutes for it to actually go through the freezing process okay right now the beater's rolling okay it's beating the, the product and beating air into it and eventually it's going to freeze into the end product that you're pulling out the dole whip okay so basically, we'll be right back in about eight minutes. When the machine shuts off and you don't hear it that loud, that means it's cycled and it's ready to serve products. We make a cone of Dole Whip, but first we're gonna just take that little shot of sanitizer that we talked about. Okay, all right. 
So we got rid of the sanitizer. And now we're going to make a cone, uh, a dull whip cone. Perfect product, Taylor C-152, turnkey parlor, ice cream equipment superstore. This is a 2019 unit, okay? Rocco, you ready? <laughs> ready for your attitude to go with, Rocco? Rocco, you want to go with? Good? <laughs> 